Hey y'all, it's Savannah and this is Savannah Says. So today I'm here to talk about my seasonal ween series, which is basically based off of Halloween, but in every season. So we have a spring ween, a summer ween, Halloween's obviously in the fall, then a winter ween. And conceptually what I have planned or what I've sketched out in my mind is that every three months, like at the beginning of the season, I'm going to pick from my weenie jar and I'm going to pick 12, 10 to 12, actually I'm gonna pick 12 titles out of this jar and then based off of those 12, I'm just gonna try to read all of them within the three month period and hopefully by the end of the season, I have read them and I can talk about them, et cetera, et cetera. At first I wanted to separate it by like subgenre within horror, but then like I realized it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try to at least have one horror and one thriller or mystery thriller like in the mix, we'll see. I kind of cheated and I've already picked six because as I was like writing them down to put in the jar, I was like, oh, this looks kind of good. I want to read this first. I will go through the six that I've already chosen briefly what the synopsis is based off of Goodreads. And then I'll pick the last six and do the same thing. And hopefully there's uh, no duds here, okay? So first is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. My friend uh, Suvi loaned this to me and it's been sitting on my dresser for a couple of months and it's looking at me and I feel like I need to just read it so I can like watch the TV show. But, and this book is about a woman who's a journalist and she goes back to her hometown to like investigate murders. I think she's like a younger half sister and her mom's kind of like neurotic so she doesn't really go home that often. But now kids in her hometown who are her half sister's age are starting to disappear. So she's going there to investigate and that's all I know. And I assume that it's going to be good because again, it's Gillian Flynn. Second, we have Year of the Witching, if you can read that by Alexis Henderson. And I recently looked or borrowed this book from the library and then I only read like 20 pages of it and then I just bought it myself. So that's why I picked this one. As far as I understand, this book is just about a girl who she, I think she's black and everyone else around her and her town is white. And this is like the 1600s and you know, witches were like not allowed back then. And I think she's got some kind of magic, but again, I didn't get too far into it. So I'm not exactly sure. And the synopsis basically just says forbidden something surrounding her and I feel like it'll unravel as I read. So Year of the Witching. Next up we have Dark House by Karina Hall. I think is how you say her name. And this is a romantic horror series that I was, y'all know I love romance. I love romance that's got a lot going on. It's gotta be chaotic for me to enjoy it. And I was like, are there horror books that have romantic subplots? And there are. And this is one of the ones that popped up in my search and it's a series and I love a series. From what I understand, this book is about a woman who is like going through a midlife crisis, I think. And she meets this man who was like producing a TV show about ghosts like a paranormal TV show and they end up in a lighthouse together that's like haunted. Again, it's a series, so I assume that it gets more spooky as it goes along, but that alone had me interested because again, I like romance. Excited to read that. We have Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes, which is a sci-fi. Yeah, this is a horror sci-fi that I keep seeing on the internet. I think it just came out recently or at least this year it came out, so people are talking about it. The tag on Goodreads says Titanic meets The Shining. I'm assuming there's aliens involved. Again, I'm not really sure. I know I said I was gonna read the synopsis, but I feel like sometimes the synopsis like gives a lot away. So we have Extasia by Claire Legrand. And this is, it seems to be about a girl who is being sacrificed as like a, to become a saint of Haven. I'm not really sure what that means. It is a horror book and it's fantasy horror. So we'll find out. And for the last couple that I chose before picking out of the weenie jar was, the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. I bought this book a couple of months ago because I saw it on YouTube, of course. And this isn't horror, but it's definitely a serial killer romance, which, okay, before you say anything, apparently it's good because it's crazy. And that's all I need to know. The woman is a serial killer. So that's already given me a twist. I think it'll be good even if it's chaotic and even if it's kind of bad. I mean, can I really judge something? Now we will be picking from the jar. So I'm gonna pick six more. Just gonna not look. Our next six are A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. And this is apparently a reimagining of Dracula's Brides. And I feel like that's all I need to know. Mexican Gothic by Silvio Moreno Garcia. So actually, I have read this before. I read this, I think, in 2020. I'll keep this one, but I also will pick another one just in case like I decide I don't want to reread something. Mexican Gothic is about a girl who she gets sent to her cousin's house because her and her cousin are really close and her cousin's been having a hard time lately because she was married into this rich family. Um, they're a white family, that's important. 
uh, because they are Mexican. And so she goes to this family's house and there's just really something like really seriously amiss in the house. They, weird stuff goes on. They're kind of, it's just weird and creepy. Basically it's weird and creepy. And so this girl has to like unravel the mystery of why her cousin has suddenly become unable to speak for herself. Like her cousin's kind of, she used to be really outgoing and bubbly and had a personality, but now she's kind of like really withdrawn. And so this girl goes there to see what's going on with her cousin and that it was a good book. So, so let me pick another one and we continue. Cirque de Sifrique, A Living Nightmare by, God, I can't literally can't read my handwriting, Darren Shan. Okay, this is also a series, already starting off good. Okay, so again, this is another vampire story. It seems to be about a boy named Darren, which I guess is the author, self insert. Darren and his best friend Steve get tickets to the Cirque des Freak, a wonderfully gothic freak show featuring weird, frightening, half human, half animals. I have read the reviews on this and it has a 4.08 on Goodreads. And generally speaking, that means that, like, at the very least, it'll be a three star. Suffer the Children by Craig DeLouis. Okay, so apparently this book is about there's like this disease that kills off all these young children, but then they suddenly rise from the dead and are blood thirsty i'm really loving the vampire thing we have going on here so i'm really kind of actually excited for these <laughs> stephanie meyer raised me the passage by justin cronin which is also a series and i know that this is a tv show and i'm pretty sure the guy i always get dawson's creek and saved by the bell guy mixed up and one of them was in this tv show but this is a i think it's a dystopian sci-fi i can't really understand what it's about from the synopsis but it's got something to do with a government experiment that's gone wrong and suddenly the world's in chaos and by the world i'm assuming they mean america because so yeah i guess after that i can watch a tv show and let y'all know if that's comparable to the book and we have two more left harrow lake by kate ellis so this is about a girl who her she's the daughter of like a famous horror filmmaker and he gets attacked and she gets sent to live with her grandmother in the town of which he filmed his first really famous slasher movie as she goes to this town the people in the town are really weird as to be expected and i think she's being stalked this seems like it's a thriller that's exciting and lastly we have her soul to take by harley larue so apparently this is about a girl and i think she raises the demon again it's real vague on the synopsis if you want to look it up i'll put a link very vague and apparently it's I don't know. It's got strong horror elements according to the content warning. So hopefully it's a ride. That is all. Well, I guess I have 13 picks because one of them I've already read. So, you know, maybe I'll make it 13 every time because 13 is like a, like a spooky number, right? Maybe I'll do that. Obviously, I'm going to have to refill the jar as time goes on because I'm going to quickly run out of books. But yeah, I hope to maybe like pull from a jar for other genres or series or ideas so if you have any any ideas uh let me know in the comments below that's all for today so i'll see y'all next time bye, 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 bye.